What's up, YouTube man? It's your boy Akbar back with another video. Today I got a review on my battle beaver. So if you click the video, man, hit that subscribe button, like the video, all that kind of sorts of stuff. And let me know what y'all think. If you guys have a scuff or a battle beaver, let me know if this controller <coughs> helps you out in your gameplay when you're playing Warzone. But other than that, man, I'm going to get it started to the video, man. So it's been over a year that I bought this controller for. And I bought it for, I think it was like $200. And this one was pre-built. So it came in in like one or two weeks, I think. And if you're trying to make a customized one from Battle Beaver, it might take like over a month. I recommend like just getting a pre-built controller so it comes in faster but if you're gonna wait if you're willing to wait for the controller to come in i guess you know build your custom controller i guess but yeah this is my battery beaver as you can see it's kind of dirty it's been a year blacked out um the things i got it is the back two buttons in the standard position <clears throat> excuse me and i got the grip on the controller which, you know, Battle Beaver did it for me. Or you could just buy your grips and put them on there. It's um, Control Freak grips on here. I got a Control Freak on here on my right stick. And then I got the buttons. I got mouse click. So active triggers. So these are all mouse clicks. The back buttons are mouse clicks. So it's a faster response time, basically. And yeah, it's been over um, a year. And does this controller, or did this controller help me make make myself better at the game? To be honest, I really think that it didn't make a difference for me. Like, I play the same, my play style the same. I get um, around 10 to 15 kills each game per game, depending on the lobby, you know? But I average like five to ten kills each game. I mean, I used to play with the regular controller, and I feel like this doesn't really help you become, you know, better at the game or nothing like that. It's just the things that will help you be better at the game is playing consistently every day. Like controllers, it doesn't matter, you know. Like all these adaptive mouse click response five clicks and stuff it didn't help me the back buttons yeah you could it does help you a little bit but like <clears throat> it doesn't affect that much i guess is what i'm trying to say other than then you know you just having your thumb on the aiming stick at all times will help a little bit with your aim but i feel like when a regular controller you going back and forth like this and coming right back to the position is the same thing, I feel like. And if you're really good at the game, it shouldn't matter if you have, you know, extra buttons or anything like that. You know, mouse clicks and all that shenanigans, you know? But what I say is if you're, like, in a good position to buy a controller that's $200, you know what I'm saying? and are good at the game and you play the game every day then i'd say it's worth buying a battle beaver or a scuff i did used to have a scuff like before i bought a battle beaver but they're basically the same back buttons in the back extra buttons basically it doesn't make a whole lot of difference from a regular controller to you know getting a battle beaver or a scuff controller. If you're really good at the game with the regular controller, I'll continue using a regular controller. But if you want to spend the extra money, this is a good way to spend it, I guess. It's not going to make you improve, I feel like. That's my opinion. You know, other than you having the thumb on your aim button all the time. Like, these buttons are here. Like... It's good at response time, but it's the same thing. It's whoever sees whoever first in the gameplay, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what kind of controller it got. It matters about 
who's behind the screen playing the game, you know? The, I feel like the controller doesn't even remotely make you better. Because I have this... I've had this for over a year, and I feel like I played the same using a regular PS4 controller with my con control freak on there. And just clicking the buttons like this. I do play stick and move, so I do jump with this. So that when I have my regular controller, I used to jump with this. But now I use the back paddles of um, circle for slide canceling, and then I jump button for my right. But other than that, I still gotta go over here and click triangle to reload or square to reload. Uh, and a square to reload, then um, triangle to play it up, then square to pick up things and stuff like that. You know, then I still gotta go. I'm only t I don't have four buttons back there. It'd probably be better if I had four buttons back there. But yeah, other than that, um, this controller I had never had a problem with it. All the buttons work fine after a year. I don't think I had any issues with it or nothing like any connection issues. These buttons work perfectly fine over the years and I play a lot so like I play like at least 10 hours or 20 hours through the week you know maybe play two three hours a day I would say and it's not that bad and I just got black pre-built came in in a week a week or two I think during the pandemic so it'll probably be faster right now if you guys think about getting one but yeah, if you have a regular controller, man, I recommend get you a control freak and some grip. The grip really helps out and so you don't slip as much or when you're getting sweaty, the grip really does help out. And that's the, thing, that's the only thing I'll say about this controller is that. But yeah, man, let me know in the comments what y'all think, like does a scuff controller or a battle beaver help you out throughout, you know, you playing Warzone or any other FPS games. Like, think really hard, man. Like, think back when you had a normal controller. And now you got this $200 controller in your hands. 240 300 Even people, you know, buy these and build these. But I feel like a $50 controller, a regular controller, I could go on Warzone right now and just bust some... But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I go hard with it. I don't think it's, it'll make me, you know, suck or anything at it, you know? At the game. But, yeah, let me know what y'all think. PS4 controller, Batter Beaver. It's your boy, Akbar, and I'm out. Hit that subscribe button for me. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. But first, let's get to 500 subscribers. I'm nearly at 400 subscribers, so... Yeah, man, hit that subscribe button for me, man. I really appreciate it if you guys support me. I am a really small channel. And like the video. And like I said, man, comment below. Let me know what y'all think about y'all scuffs. Or better before, or even if you have a regular controller, man. Deuce, deuce.